So now it is final that the NTA replaces the CBSE and you have the National Testing Agency conducting the NEET and the JEE. I think probably India's largest and the biggest examination that is conducted is the JEE. And well, now the NEET and the JEE uh, will be conducted twice a year. Now that is what is announced by the MHRD minister lately. Putting an end to all the confusions and all the speculations, now it is out. And here are certain things which you should be knowing. First of all, the examination is online and online, right? This examination will be conducted twice a year. The NEET will be conducted twice a year in the month of Feb and May. JE would be conducted twice a year in the month of Jan and April. There is the limits are here. In attempts NEET, you have no limitations on the number of attempts. You can attempt as many times as you want, but of course they have an age limit. Now this is same as the previous eligibility and they've claimed that they will not change the eligibility criteria. That's the latest news. But well, you know how the system works, right? Anything can come up anytime. But for JEE, you're allowed three attempts and it's consecutive three attempts and the entry into JEE advance is through JEE mains. Um, that's the basic criteria criteria over here. Now you can attempt both the papers and your best score will be considered. So these dates are out, you know, so 6 to 28th in the month of Jan, you can choose your sitting uh, and 7 to 21st, you can choose your sitting. Now, um, how will it be? Okay, how will it be? The, the, it's the government's and the, and the NTA's responsibility that the difficulty level is maintained same. So I understand some students have put in questions that uh, will the first paper be difficult? Uh, what if I give the first and the second is easier? Um, but I think that's what you'll have to leave it to your preparation uh, throughout the year and don't bother about these technicalities. It is the NTA's responsibility to ensure uniform difficulty level throughout, right? So I don't think there is major change uh, in the syllabus, in the criteria, in the question paper format. It's going to be more or less say 95% of the type of questions which they've been asking previously is what I think they will be asking even now. Uh, with the NTA coming in, it's become more secure and it's, it's, it's going to bring you to a faster result uh, excess so which is also a good sign now as students preparing for this my take to y'all would be not to get too much into the technicalities of these things just know when is your examination and know that it will be an online examination and also know that it's going to be twice a year plan for your preparation if your preparation is rock solid if your concepts are rock solid if your practice is is umpteen number of times and if you've solved really 30 35 papers i'm telling you it doesn't matter whether the cbse is conducting it or the nta is conducting it because you are grounded you are strong to pura taakat na is pe lagao ki physics ka numericals aata hai derivatives aata hai concepts aata hai equations aata hai chemistry mein know the concepts and and follow the hard work of being willing to put in 9, 10, 11, 12 hours a day practically if you really want to crack this and if you have a goal very strong. So all the best children. If you still have a question regarding the NTA, the examination pattern, the time, the timetable, etc. I've posted a link in the description section and uh, go through that link and tell me if you have more questions, ask in the comment section. Thank you for liking this video. Thank you for viewing this and thank you for sharing this as well. Um, to all the students, stay strong, be rock solid.